Do you know it's very, very cool visiting the United States Naval Academy for the very first time, which I thought was pretty awesome. Their qualities and traits on their website, but who graduates from this type of institution. And those qualities reminded me of those who become a first generation cash flow millionaire. So what are they? And more importantly, do you have them? I'll discuss seven of those qualities in this episode of the Seven Fear Squad happening in three, two, one. Let's go. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. What's cracking, everybody? Money smart guy Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Annapolis, Maryland, home of the United States Naval Academy. What am I doing here? We're constantly expanding the Money Smart Woman team organization here of my day job, which is the PHP Agency Board Council and Chief Distribution Officer. But the interesting part here is being able to celebrate the expansion and growth here of Bill Corman, a former instructor here at the Naval Academy, now turned entrepreneur, making over $330,000 in income. What's even more cool is Chris Evacina Hart, who was born and raised in Compton, California, who became an Apple executive, transitioned into the insurance industry, working together with PHP Agency, and now earning over $500,000 in yearly cash flow income. Sorry guys, couldn't help but gloat about them. But back to the United States Naval Academy, here are some interesting facts. The United States Naval Academy was established in 1845, spans over a beautiful 333 acres, has roughly 4,500 midshipmen, which is basically the people that attend school here. They have an 8.5% acceptance rate, which they need a senator's letter of endorsement to become accepted. Doesn't mean they apply, doesn't mean they get accepted though. 81% of Navy midshipmen were in the top fifth of their high school class. 87% were varsity athletes in high school. And here they must play a sport, whether on the varsity team in college or plays on an intramural team here at the Naval Academy. There's a 70, 80% graduation rate and it costs $275,000 to get a Navy midshipman through the Academy. And last but not least, they must serve as an officer in the Navy or Marine Corps for five years after graduation and they have zero student loan debt and they get paid a monthly stipend to go to school here. One thing for sure, I wish I knew about the United States Naval Academy. I mean, I played sports in high school. It would give me an opportunity to do better in the classroom and to apply myself because I knew there would be at least a direction after high school if I knew about the Naval Academy. Nevertheless, very proud of my lineage as a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps serving eight years, serving with the 15th and 31st Marine Expeditionary Units. Nevertheless, here are seven traits of graduates of the United States Naval Academy that reminded me of first generation cash flow millionaires. Number one, professional. Dedicated to the profession of arms, tradition, and values of the Naval Service, in the Constitutional Foundation of the United States of America. Listen, to become a first generation cash flow millionaire, you must be grounded in values, morals, and principles. You must be grounded in the fact that this is not a hobby, this is something you want to professionally accomplish. You wake up, you think about it, you go to sleep, think about it, in your dreams, you think about it. If you want to become a first generation cash flow millionaire, you must be professional about your approach to your craft, your business, your career, and your profession. Number two, inclusive. Fosters a respectful environment in which diverse experiences, perspectives, and knowledge are sought out, valid, and leveraged. You know, this very much reminds me of what our evolution has been here. You know, the Money Smart Movement team, my, my organization with inside the insurance industry, is coast to coast. We got people in the black community, we got people in the Latino community, we got people in the Asian community, we got people in the Polynesian community. Doesn't matter if you're white, black, brown, doesn't matter. We want your thoughts, we want your experiences. We want your insight into how we can better serve the multicultural middle class and how to make sure we deliver insurance to the marketplace. I don't care if you speak Spanish. I don't care if you spoke Brokenese, not Millionese at one point. I don't care if you speak uh, uh, Samoan, French, Patois, Haitian, Urdu, doesn't matter. Listen, we want to speak one language and that's the language of financial freedom. That's the language of millionese, of rich and ease we've discussed in previous episodes. We have one color in mind, green. We have one race in mind, and that's the human race. And furthermore, if we don't have the experience, if we don't have the knowledge, if we don't have the reference, we ask other people who has been there and done that, so therefore it can advance our learning curve into a success curve and eventually into a power curve. Number three. Resilient, possesses the toughness, grit, and perseverance to withstand and recover quickly from difficult conditions. 
Listen, if you want to be a first generation cash flow millionaire, not just make it, but also keep it and keep making it and making it and make it, you must be resilient. We often say that uh, as an entrepreneur, as somebody who's looking to become financially free and financially independent, you have a very close relationship with God. Because <laughs> you're saying, oh Lord, how do I get through these bills? Oh Lord, who's my next client? Oh Lord, how do I get past this difficult situation? Oh Lord, all this pressure is on me and I need your help. You must be resilient if you want to become a first generation cash flow millionaire. Number four, adaptable. Recognizes, assesses, and understands new conditions, ideas, environments, and cultures, and makes appropriate adjustments to succeed. Listen, as an entrepreneur, as somebody's going out there to become financially free, you think you're set out to be one way, next thing you know, a condition comes your way, or a situation comes your way, an opportunity comes your way. Uh, you set out to do something a certain way, next thing you know, you're cast off into the direction you never thought you'd be casted off into. Listen, that reminds us of the obstacle course we just did here at the Naval Academy obstacle course. In my mind, I was gonna attack this obstacle course with everything I had, man. I said, you know what? I did this 20 years ago, 30 years ago. In my mind, I thought I was gonna smash this obstacle course, you know, because you know, I've been going to the gym, I've been doing my best to stay in shape and doing my best to be an example to my children and wrestle with them and stay limber and loose for them. And I thought I was just gonna smash this obstacle course. And next thing you know, boom. <laughs> and and I, I didn't think my hips would move as much as I thought they would move. I didn't think my back was as, as uh, tight as it was. I didn't think my knees were as tight as they were, but they were, and it hurts. And like, goodness gracious, I sh should have listened to my wife's instructions. I should have stretched more, but I'm not sure exactly how much stretching. I think I needed years of stretching before I attacked this obstacle course. But listen, instead of making a video of us attacking this course, we decided to do a parody course. Listen, at the end of the day, if you don't know how to improvise, adapt, you will not overcome and you will not be a first generation cash flow millionaire. When life gives you lemons, you better make lemonade. Number five, learned, broadly educated in academic and professional fields with focused disciplinary knowledge that enables the application of skills in complex and changing conditions through a lifetime of learning. Listen, truth be told, as much as I'm standing here in front of the United States Naval Academy, I never graduated college. I became a six-figure income earner, I became a $250,000 income earner, $500,000 income earner, became a first-generation cash flow millionaire because I chose to learn along the way. What's the saying there? Education will make you a living, but constantly learning and self-education will build you a life. Just because you got a college degree, just because you have a certification, just because you have a experience or resume, if you don't constantly learn and improve and adapt, and all the things we just discussed previously, you'll be stuck. We have a saying here, it's either you're growing or you're dying and there's no staying the same. Because staying the same means also dying. Life is just gonna eventually pass you up if you don't keep learning, keep adapting, and keep going. Number six, courageous. Possesses the moral, mental, and physical strength to do that which is right with determination even in the face of temptation or adversity. Listen, oftentimes as you're starting your business, oftentimes as you're starting to save your money and reinvest your money or reinvest your capital, people are looking at you all weird. Your investors are looking at you all weird. Your clients are looking at you weird. Your family is looking at you all weird, but you've gotta be able to say, you know what? I am courageous, I am bold. I know none of y'all believe me in me right now. I've got a vision, I've got a duplicatable blueprint, I have a mentor in my corner, and guess what, I'm gonna be courageous in the midst of the storm, I will continue to pursue, I will continue to push on, and guess what, you keep doing that over and over and over, you focus in on the right things, you focus on money making activities, you be courageous in your endeavor, and eventually over time, working hard at the right things does pay off. Number seven, honorable, does what is right, conducts oneself in the highest ethical manner, and is accountable for one's professional and personal behavior. You know, oftentimes in your pursuit to becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire, there are many distractions. One thing I respect about all the midshipmen here that attend the Naval Academy, they're up at 6.30 in the morning, they're getting squared with, they're in uniform, in between classes they're studying. I, my observation here, and knowing the instructors here, there's not a lot of partying that goes on that you see at most college campuses. There's a lot of dedication to duty, there's a lot of dedication to our country. They know why they're here and they want to honor that decision. 
my observation seems like there's very little downtime and a lot of teamwork and a lot of service to one another, a lot of accountability to one another as well. You walk around, your uniform is out of place. They're all correcting each other. There's no place for softness here at the United States Naval Academy. Everybody here from the instructors to the superintendent to the midshipmen are always on each other in terms of holding standards and making sure they represent their country, their family in the most professional and appropriate and honorable way. And that's the way first generation casual millionaires approach their desire to bring honor to the family, to say, you know what, I'm gonna make this money, I'm gonna continue to make this money, I'm gonna keep this money, so therefore I can have finances removed from some of the biggest decisions our family has to make for multiple, multiple, multiple generations. You know, I was just talking to Ivan, we're having uh, lunch here. I said, bro, look around, look around. There's a lot of people here in the middle of the day having lunch, groups, right? This is a, on a Friday afternoon. You know what, we, hear, we constantly hear in some of the wealthiest uh, areas here of Annapolis and we're having lunch at a very pretty fancy spot. People are talking about trust funds, people are talking about mortgages, people are talking about investments, people are talking about wealth they had from generation to generation. Kind of different conversation I had with my buddies, talking about, hey, did you see last night's game? Did you see what's going on in this with this drama, with this drama? Completely different decision. We decided to say, I'm gonna become a person who's gonna change the direction of our last name forever. Only takes one person, an entire generation to do that, and there's honor in doing so. So with that being said, I'm just curious, do you have these traits? Do you possess these traits? My guess is this, if you have five, six, or seven of these traits, you're very, very much well on your way to becoming first generation cash flow millionaire. And I think the other traits, I think that's something you can work on. At least you're aware of it to make sure you're applying yourself in the most appropriate way. There's more to becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire than one way or two ways. Listen, there's a multitude of things that you must be aware of and you stay on top of. Thank God for our information platforms like YouTube and Facebook and whatever. Listen, there is no excuse right now. If you want to make a financial difference in your family's life, there is zero excuse right now for you not to get rich, for you not to get wealthy, even in the midst of the pandemic, even in the midst of this post-pandemic, even in the midst of chaos. There's so much information available to you today to get financially ahead. And if the reason why you're not financially ahead because you're not studying, you're not staying on top of your game, you're not fighting the passion and wanting to change your life, well, that's on you. And I hope that's something you decide to change. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Drop your follow-ups. And I'm just curious, what type of traits do you think you have? Put them in the comment section below. What traits do you have from this video? Put it in the comment section below. Before I wrap up, please watch these two videos. Number one, how millionaires create real passive income. And this is another video here I think you'll love, is how I bought a Rolls Royce and only paid 24 bucks a month for this exotic car fit for kings and queens. With that being said, guys, if you've done so already, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like, follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe, hit notification, be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, I'm your Money Smart Guy, and from the United States Naval Academy, until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.